Hello everyone. My name is Rhonda Pittman. My maiden name was Rhonda Foytig. And I have a story to tell you about one of the most courageous women I know. Her name is Tina Foytig. I don't know if I'll get through this story without crying because it's, it's a story that needs to be told. Where do I start? I guess I should start in the beginning. My mother was 16 and she worked as a nurse aide and as a candy striper. And from 16 to 19, she, like I said, worked as a candy striper and then a CNA. And she worked with Dr. Joe Yelderman at Polly Ryan Hospital at the time it was called. And she helped him deliver what I understood was like 600 babies. She was equivalent to three CNAs on the floor. She could literally do the job of three people. And that's my mama I'm talking about. And I am very proud of my mama. And she was, she graduated in 71. She went to college and she was engaged to get married. She went on her senior trip, she went to Mexico and she managed to conceive me. And she did all that in three years. Little did she know that her life was about to change drastically. March 23rd, 1972. She was coming home and the way I understood it was she told my grandparents that she was going to the library to study when really she was going to the doctor and she was on her way home to tell them that she was pregnant with me. That's the way I understood it. But she never got to tell anyone because she never made it home. A tornado came across the road when she was driving and picked up her car and threw it into another car. Her, she had severe injuries when they picked her up, the ambulance said she wouldn't make it. They already called it in that she was going to be gone by the time they got there. Well, this is where the miracle starts. She made it to the hospital and she made it through everything. Her surgery, everything. Her back was broken three places. Her arms and legs were crushed. The metal bar that's across the visor was across her forehead. And that's why my mother today has brain damage. But she looks perfectly fine. But before I go on with the story, I would like to share some pictures of my mom before the accident. This was her. That was her senior year. And another picture. I think this was her 11th grade year. She was also Miss Youth Fair Queen. I think she came in second place. Right here. There she is. She did a lot in those three years before this car accident, y'all. She lived. You know, some people just, they live, they live. And this is her, just a snapshot. I think I have the most beautiful mama ever. I really do. And here's another one from when she was for the youth fair queen. And this one was taken a couple of weeks before the car accident. 
this is when her story changed a couple of weeks after this picture as I said her life changed she was two weeks pregnant roughly two maybe three weeks pregnant with me when the accident happened and everything that you're not supposed to do when you were pregnant she did the x-rays the medicine everything and I didn't show up until six and a half months later they found me and right away and I the there was people in the hospital that didn't think I had a right to live they said how could my mom have me when she couldn't take care of me and you had abortion people that were all over that My grandparents had to go to court to fight for me. Dr. Joe Yeldeman, he fought for me too. I had people fighting for me before I was even here. It's a nice feeling to know that you were loved before you was even here, you know? And so they protected me and my mother would go in and out of her coma and and that and they sent her home for a few weeks before I was born and they told her to bring Tina back my mom when she started to spot that meant she was going into labor so a few weeks went by November 24th 1972 I was born my mother never went back into her coma after that. She had me natural. The way I understand it, Dr. Joe Yelderman, he got my head and shoulders out and, I mean, she did. And then he took it from the rest of the way. My mother weighed 80 pounds the day I was born and I was six pounds, eight ounces. And I have all 10 fingers, 10 toes, and my grandma told me that I had every doctor and nurse that were astonished and couldn't believe I was healthy. But by God's grace, here I am. And my mom is still, still going strong. She is a fighter and I guess we both are. And I thank God every single day and I hope soon to put all this on paper and do a book for my mama. I just have to find a publisher and get all this down on, on paper. And there's other things I didn't talk about in the story, but it's a whole story and it's an incredible story. And I just hope this piques someone's interest and wants to know more. And this is a picture of me and my mama. She lives in a nursing home right now. And she's remarkable. She makes me understand that life is too short and you have to grab every moment. And I think I need to quit talking because I'm about to cry. Anyway, I will let you go on this note that my mama is one of a kind and I love her with all my heart.